Dear insect lovers that follow my YouTube channel, today I'm able to show you some exclusive footage that nobody else would be able to show you. This is a pairing couple, a female and a male of the Epicopaea henesi from Japan. Not a lot is known about the immature stages, that means the caterpillars of this moth, and its reproduction. So this pairing couple here on my finger, which contains a small male and a big female, uh, actually is something very unique that has not been captured many times before on camera and it seems that the male has latched onto her with his uh, claspers and it seems that these moths they pair in the evening when there are low light conditions and they appear to stay coupled for a longer time for a few hours although they decouple at night so this is only something that happens at dusk I have decided that if I'm able to breed another generation of this moth I'm going to research their biology but for that I need to keep accurate data and keep track of all their life stages and instars and maybe I can rise, ri write a nice paper or article about the biology of this uh, species, I mean a scientific paper. Because this is so unique and undocumented, I really don't want to waste all of this information. And here you can see the size difference between a male and a female. For those who haven't seen my previous videos about this species, yes, this is a moth, not a butterfly. It's the Epicopaea hainesi, and they are uh, they have a co-evolutionary relationship with butterflies in the genus Atrophanura or Biasa in the Papilionidae family, and both ex exhibit uh, similar warning colorations to warn for their toxicity, and it means that these moths have maybe sh helped shape the way that swallowtail butterflies look and swallowtail butterflies have helped uh, shape the way that apicopaea moths look now i hope she will lay a lot of eggs for me this is not a difficult species to breed But all of this is just so undocumented and interesting, I'm really blown away. It's one of the most interesting species I've ever bred, and I showed you on my YouTube channel before. And the fact they are reproducing now is just amazing. I think one female can lay over 100 eggs. So, for my data, I think I need a large population. At best, I would like to breed about 100 of them. And then I would keep track of their development and write all of this in one nice article. Thank you for watching. I'm gonna go put them back in their cage soon. This was just to show you the way that Apicopaea will pair. So remember this information if you want to breed them. They pair at dusk, so not at night. They need sunlight. And they will pair up in low light conditions. Females will uh, call or disperse pheromone in the evening and males will quickly respond to that and females will lay eggs on corners thanks for watching and until next video